In this video, I will show you two little Excel tips to improve data entry accuracy. This is going to be fun. Let's get started. And both of these tips deal with drop down lists. You can see here I have a spreadsheet with some fictional employees, and I have some columns here for department and office location. Here at the right, I have the different departments that I need to account for, and I also have a list of locations. So instead of having someone click and manually type in each of these departments and office locations, and having to rely on them spelling it correctly, capitalizing correctly, instead of doing it that way, you can set up drop-down lists that will improve data accuracy. How could we do this? Step one is to select the cells where the list should go. So it's this range here in this case, C2 through C24. With that selected, you want to go to the Data tab, and here in the Data ribbon, you should find the Data Tools group, and you'll see Data Validation. Now, sometimes the text Data Validation doesn't fit, so it doesn't show up, but this is what the button looks like, and if you click here or put your mouse on this button, it pops up with the name Data Validation. So I'm going to click that button, and I get a pop-up, and right now, Data Validation allows any value to be stored in this column. Let's change that. So I click here on this drop down button and I'm going to select list. Next, there are a couple of ways I could get the source of this list. I could just type in my list. So I could click here under where it says source and I could type in HR, comma, IT, comma, marketing, comma, finance, comma, sales. So that's my list that you see here. I click OK and look what has changed. In column C now, when I click, I get a little button and I can click on that button and the five pieces of text that I typed into that list, those are my options for this cell. I'll go with finance in this case. I'll click here and choose sales. Now what if I just type, let's say administration, tap enter. Look, Excel is not going to allow me to put anything other than these five options in that cell. So I can retry or cancel. And so this is a great way to pretty much ensure that your data is accurate. Now there's a second way to do the same thing. I'm going to click and drag this time on D2 all the way through D24. And then I'll go again, Data tab, Data ribbon, in the Data Tools group, I'll click this button go to list, but this time, instead of typing all of the possible answers for the list, I'm just gonna click this button here, and then click and drag to select the list that I already have here in the spreadsheet. I can click this button again, click OK, and look what happened. I get the same result, but this time I didn't have to type it in. Now, what if you don't want the list to be here visible on your spreadsheet? It's totally fine to set up a second sheet and put your lists there, and then reference those lists when you set up your data validation. So even though they're on a different spreadsheet, they'll still work with the data validation here on this front sheet. So using data validation should definitely help improve data entry accuracy. But in certain cases, they can also help you save time. And this next little tip will help make drop-down lists even quicker. Now that I've set up my data validation drop-down lists, I can just work with my fingers on the keyboard. You might think I have to use the mouse to click on this button, but that's not true. As I'm working, all I have to do is hold Alt and tap the down arrow key, and that instantly opens the drop-down lists. Now I can just use the arrow keys themselves, up or down, and then enter on the keyboard to put in the choice that I want. So Alt, down arrow, and then you can use the up and down arrows to select, enter to make your choice. Now on a Mac computer, it's not Alt down arrow, it's Option down arrow. But other than that, it works the same way. So using Alt down arrow with drop down lists can be helpful even in spreadsheets that are kind of small like this one, but particularly they can be useful in big data sets, large spreadsheets with lots of drop down lists. Knowing this keyboard shortcut can save you a lot of hassle. Instead of taking your hands off the keyboard to use the mouse constantly, you can just keep your hands on the keyboard. So those are two little Excel tips to improve data entry accuracy. I hope you'll try them out, and you could even use this sample spreadsheet. Just look in the description below the video. For now, thanks for watching. I hope you found this video to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell and you'll be
notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, the best way to do that is to become a channel member, but you could also click the thanks button below the video. You could support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll see information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of supporting the channel, thank you so much to my super techie channel supporters. I really appreciate what you do to enable me to continue to make these videos on my weekends and in the evenings. There's all sorts of editing involved. Thank you so much for your help with that.